One of the biggest issues plaguing Pet Simulator 99's trading system is the constant manipulation of wrap prices that has only been getting worse as of recently. While this has been an issue since the wrap system was implemented, every attempt that Big Games has made to stop this has gone unsuccessful. For example, adding a tax to all booth sales within the game was a major system that they implemented with the sole focus of hopefully stopping this wrap manipulation. While initially this tax seemed to help stop manipulators a little bit as they had to pay more to actually manipulate these items, it wasn't long before this manipulation picked back up again and we were at all time highs of manipulated prices. But thankfully Big Games has silently implemented a huge change to the way that the wrap system has worked. And this could be a big step to stopping these crazy price changes. In this video, we're going to talk about what that change that they made is and how this might affect the future of the market within Pet Simulator 99. We also do have some leaks that we can go over regarding the update coming on Saturday. So we're going to talk about all of that in this video. And if you do enjoy this type of content, remember to give the video a like and subscribe to the channel for more. Now let's get right into this video. Now to start off, this is completely completely off topic but I hope Big Games fixes this thing with potato mode in the game, which makes it so you can't see the auction board or any of the stuff on booths if you're far away. Now, this is just really annoying because I'm always like sitting over here AFK in the training plaza and I can never see what's actually going on in the auction board unless I come all the way over here. But as you guys can see, like the farther I get away, all of the stuff just starts disappearing from these booths. So it's just an annoying system and I hope Big Games can implement something to fix that a little bit but anyways if you guys didn't know already in pet simulator 99 we have a wrap system and wrap stands for recent auction price or recent average price honestly i'm not sure which one it actually means but basically if you hover over any item within the game you're gonna get a price at the bottom in diamonds which basically says how much each of these items sell for on average and within the game this price is calculated by taking recent booth sales sales as well as recent auction prices so whenever something sells up here or in a booth that sale takes into account the average recent price so that's the value that you see below an item now prior to this big change that we saw in the past day these wrap prices that we actually see on the items are only updated every four hours so every four hours on the hour there is an updated price for how much these things are selling for. Now, the reason why this was a very bad system from the start is because people can actually manipulate the prices of certain things on booths. So for example, if I wanted to manipulate the price of a secret key, I could just put this up for sale for let's just say a billion diamonds and then go on my other account and then sell it to that account in order to manipulate the price. Now, one of the major flaws that we saw with that past system is that once somebody manipulated the price, they then have the next four hours essentially to try to scam people with that fake price to try to sell it for more or include that item in trades in order to get something that's actually more valuable. And then usually by the time that four hours is up, there's been enough people selling it for its actual price for the value to then fall. But usually because the price is manipulated, some people are actually buying that item for the manipulated price. So it does take multiple wrap updates for that price to actually fall, which essentially means if that price is manipulated for three wrap updates, that is 12 hours that people can use a manipulated price to then scam unsuspecting players of. But thankfully, Big Games has made a humongous change to how this works by actually lowering that time that the price updates to every hour. So now wrap price is updating every hour, which means that people that manipulate these prices have a lot less time to actually try to scam people. And because of that, it's gonna cost them more to manipulate as well as lower that window of time that they actually have to scam people. So they no longer have that four hour period where they can sit around and scam people with that manipulated price. Now, overall, I think this is a fantastic change. Now, I've heard a lot of people saying that it updates every 30 minutes, but honestly, I haven't seen that. For me, I've only seen the prices updating every hour. And then I also got 
some confirmation that it should be updating only every hour but honestly the lower the time that it takes for these prices to update the better by lowering the time it actually takes for these prices to update makes it a lot easier for prices to go back to their original state so it's overall just a lot harder for people to actually manipulate prices on top of this this is also a very good change for things like updates for example when an update comes out people are often spending a ton of diamonds for the new things that come out and because the wrap price only updates every four hours it takes a long time for the prices of new items to actually fall in price because people always just sell it for whatever the wrap value is currently so because these values can actually update a lot more often due to this new change then we will see more accurately reflected wrap prices in general which overall is just good for a market and then overall just having wrap prices update every hour just makes trading so much better in general as the general public of the game can get access to more accurate prices for the average player of pet simulator 99 this change actually makes it easier so they don't really need to keep up with the news of all the changes happening in the game the second they come out for example if we got a huge new leak about some new exclusive egg that's coming to the game or something the wrap price of the eggs is going to change a lot quicker so people can actually see the values changing in real time compared to before when they had to wait four hours before they could see the prices actually begin to change. Now, while this isn't some major new sophisticated system that stops wrap manipulation, Overall, I think this is a huge quality of life change for people that are constantly trading in this game. I definitely very much appreciate this. And I definitely think this is like a hundred times more effective than that booth tax was. Now, obviously, this small change isn't going to completely stop rat manipulation. And there's still going to be manipulation scammers out there. But with the prices updating more frequently, as well as the booth tax in place, I think this is definitely enough to help stop some of the rap manipulators and at least dig into their profits a bit because obviously if they only have an hour to trade these items that they manipulated then they will have a lot less people that are actually falling for the scams and the price is going to fall down a lot quicker and they're going to make a lot less diamonds which is hopefully just enough to deter people from doing it in the first place i honestly think that the booth tax that they put in has only made trading much worse i think a lot less people actually trade on their booths now because of this tax and then that basically just hurts the legitimate traders in the game because if there's actually more people trading from person to person that price that they bought those items for isn't actually reflected in the wrap value at all so the less people that we actually have using booths and the auction board means the less accurate wrap prices that we have in general but having these wrap prices update more frequently combined with that booth tax hopefully is enough to stop a lot of the wrap manipulation that we have seen recently i think another huge change that we're going to see in the market due to this change by big games is that whenever inflation or deflation happens, it's gonna be happening a, a lot more quickly as people are gonna be able to see these prices change faster, which is gonna make the prices change even quicker as more people hop on the bandwagon as prices start rising or if prices start falling, more and more people will panic even quicker. But overall, I think this is a big positive for the economy and especially for people that are trading constantly in the plaza. Now, moving on to the lead that we got for update 17 coming on saturday big games has actually uploaded the brand new flex exclusive egg which is supposed to be replacing the blazing exclusive egg that is currently in the shop right now now a day and a half ago i did tell you guys to buy those exclusive eggs and the reason i told you to buy that is because i think exclusive eggs are going to be rising in price in general due to this new huge egg that actually contains a titanic so I think a lot more people are going to be willing to open exclusive eggs because exclusives are going to be worth more because they can be used to craft this egg. So because of that, I think holding on to exclusive eggs right now are a very good value holder. And especially during a time in the market when it doesn't seem like there's anything too certain that we can invest in. I think this is a very good idea for a lot of you. 
And because we got this leak, it is very likely that this egg is leaving the shop on Saturday. So more likely than not, we will see the price of the blazing egg reach the other recent prices of the eggs that were in the shop, such as the stargazing egg, which is now at 45 million. Or even before that, we had the bejeweled egg, which is now sitting at 45.8 million. So since this is getting removed from the exclusive shop, we will likely see the price of the blazing egg reach those prices. Now, we also did get leaked from big games that this is going to be some sort of good versus evil update. So there's going to be like two sides we can choose from if we want to be evil or fight for good or something like that. Who, who even knows at this point? But I'm sure we are getting a new forever pack with it as well, because each week it seems like we do get a new forever pack that people can waste their money on if they want. Besides that, we also got some hints into what this new clan battle is going to look like on Saturday as well. It seems to be a safety themed clan and battle for some reason so we're going to get a bunch of safety related stuff for the rewards for the clan battle so it looks like we're going to get a new safety hoverboard as well as a safety booth for the trading plaza and then of course some big huge safety cat so we're gonna have the rainbow gold and regular version of that for people who win the clan battle and then we also got this leak of a brand new machine which is under the good and evil theme which supposedly is going to be used to make some sort of good versus evil little gift bag so that's what a lot of people think that this new clan battle is going to be sort of like the core battle that we had a few weeks ago at this point which was a huge pay to win clan battle that a lot of people did not like because you could trade the cores that were actually used to make these gift bags now personally i didn't mind that one that much because for the vast majority of people that are actually playing the game we can actually use those cores to make a ton of diamonds for ourselves and have the richest clans paying us to buy them off of us so I think that is a great thing for the player base in general, but people that are very competitive with clan battles obviously don't like that. Now at this point, it's not confirmed whether or not that is the actual battle, but that's what a lot of people think that machine is going to be used for. And we don't even know if the gifts or however you use to craft the gifts are going to be tradable. So we're going to have to wait and see on that, but we have a lot of cool leaks coming. It's going to be interesting to see what big games does to keep the player base happy with this update on Saturday. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about these leaks, as well as the change to the rap system in game. Remember to like the video and subscribe for more pet sim content and i'll see you guys in the next video peace out